Hello and welcome. My name is Joyce Demi Adindi. And today on Business Model Canvas, we shall be looking at the interpretation between revenue streams and cost structure to determine the health of your organization. That is whether your business is actually making profit or not. Come along on this journey. Now, revenue streams. How do you make money? Write down all streams of revenue into your organization, for instance, um, sales of products, sales of fixed assets, there's a membership fee, all revenue generated, put it down. Later on, we'll see how to work out these revenue streams. But for now, let's look at our cost structure. A cost structure of a manufacturing company differs from the cost structure of a merchandising business, and so also a cost structure of a service business. You need to identify your business structure by first making a list of what you do in your business. For instance, do you buy and sell when you're in the merchandising industry? Do you buy raw material, process it? into finished goods and then sell. You're into a manufacturing industry. Do you sell your expertise for money? Maybe in a service industry. And all these sectors have almost the same six costs. They pay salaries, they do insurance, they do rent, etc. But the available cost is what you need to be watchful about. Because if you miss out this, you may not be able to get your actual unit cost of an item. And if you don't have it, then your, your business is losing huge money. Now, Let's look at an example of a merchandising or trading business. A company buys books. A company buys 30,000 books for 5 naira each and sells 10,000 of those books for 100 naira each. How do you tell me, how do you understand the accounting side of it? The purchase price, the 30, um, quantity 30,000 times the unit price will give you 150,000. The first price of 20,000 times 100, which is 2 million, will help you determine your cost of sales. Now, your cost of sales is gotten from the actual quantity that was sold out and the actual cost price, the actual purchase price, the original purchase price, which was five naira. I was taking twenty thousand times five naira to give you hundred thousand. That's your cost of sale. Simple. Just knowing that won't tell you whether your business is actually making a profit or a loss. And now this is the interpretation, this is all what we're saying now, this is the interpretation of it. That revenue that was generated through your operational activities of 2 million minus your cost of sale of 100,000 we give you 1.9, that's 1,900,000. So we see that yes, this company actually made the profit. And then other expenses, you subtract other expenses and taxes from it to know your actual profit that is made. And mind you, the second company made a profit, a mutual profit, but at the end made a loss. So you need to be watchful. This helps you, you know, with strategize. 
you know that okay, if your expenses are getting too high, you can cut it down. That's how to run a business. Thank you very much.